Not only is there less sea ice in the Arctic, but what's up there now is younger, thinner, and breaking up a lot earlier in the season. And it could mean trouble for polar bears. Scientists that are studying the sea ice have called the season. They're saying from the data they have, it looks like the ice is not growing any further um, this year in spatial extent, and it's starting to melt. So it's basically the beginning, what they're saying, of the melt season. According to new research from the National Snow and Ice Data Center, this winter will tie 2006 for the lowest sea ice maximum on record, 5.65 million square miles, or a nearly 8% drop in the average recorded from 1979 to 2000. But it's not just a lack of coverage either, it's also the decrease in thick, multi-year ice. More what I think most of us think of the Arctic as, we think of this stable, vast, solid ice. In the case of polar bears, um, we used to have uh, up to 50% of the polar bears in Alaska that were collared would den out on the sea ice. But as the ice gets less stable, more bears are leaving it and coming ashore to den, leaving behind their fruitful hunting grounds as well. Springtime is unique for polar bears in that that's when seals are pupping on the ice. And so polar bears have access to a large number of relatively naive prey. But there's a very short window when those young seals are out on the ice um, and when the sea ice breaks up. Over the past couple of decades, that window has been shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And as it does, it's affecting polar bears' ability to reproduce, leading to fewer cubs. Instead of two or three per litter, researchers are seeing more and more females with just one cub. If you move up the sea ice breakup by up to a month earlier, you could double to triple the number of females that are unable to successfully rear cubs that year. If you move it up by two months, you can look at almost complete reproductive failure of that subpopulation. So pretty dramatic and pretty direct impacts to particularly reproductive polar bears. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.